Okay, I am going to start a new tumbler today that is going to use a mess of vinyl. Um, these are all from that specialty pack I got from Heat Transfer Source. And then I have this little piece from Butterfly Lane Designs. Um, this was from the February subscription box, as well as this. And this decal was in that box as well. And I'm going to work on a 32 ounce, a 30 ounce fatty from Stainless Depot. So a 30 ounce thick tumbler. I don't particularly like the word fatty, so I go with the thick. Um, personal preference, they call it a fatty. So we've done tumblers like this before with multiple stripes of vinyl it's been a long time but I want to um, do a slightly different take on it because like diagonal stripes are kind of the in thing right now so what I'm gonna do is cut this vinyl down into strips and I'm gonna measure around the tumbler because I don't know how thick this one is just to get a rough idea of how much vinyl I need so it is just about exactly 11 inches. Okay, so if my math is right, if I do two three quarter inch pieces of each of these, I will have four half inches, or a half inch of all of these, plus two extra half inches, I think. I could be way off. I have no freaking clue. I am too tired for math right now, so. I'm just going to start cutting. And this cutter is not going to work because it doesn't give me a half inch mark. Okay. Hold, please. Bear with me. Let me see if this one has a half inch. Same thing. Fiskars, again. Reach out to me. I'll tell you what we need. This one it is. And it doesn't matter what direction I cut this one at, so I'm just going to start at the top. This is the decal I'm going to use. And I'm going to start laying them out in some kind of a pattern. And that will also get me to that 11 inch mark as I cut the rest. So I'm going to do two of each at a half an inch. Should get me to what I need on these. Actually, I probably don't need two of each and every one of them now that I've adjusted my numbers again. But So maybe I'll just start with one. That's three quarters again. And I was going to use this one, but now that I'm looking at it from this angle, I don't like it. So I'm going to pull that one out of rotation. I want them to, there to be a little bit of randomness to it. It 
but I don't think I'm going to put another one of the pink in. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just put another one of the pink in and then that'll give me one of each. And I'll still leave me a little bit of the pink to use on something else. But one more of the pink should get me exactly where I need to be. Basically. But I'm going to keep all of this vinyl handy just in case. So if I need to cut another quick strip, I can. So what are we doing? We are We're gonna look at this and see if we like kind of what's going on. I am just going to pick an angle and lay it down. This is going to set the tone for the entire tumbler. And I'm just going to work from this end and I'm going to one by one wrap every single one of these all the way around here. These glitter ones are super, super thick. And these aren't going to get striped in between. So I am going to try and keep them buttoned up pretty darn tight. And I'm going to make one more adjustment, which is to switch this and this. Um, if you didn't have glitter vinyl and you wanted to do something similar, you can sit here and glitter a couple lines in. But I happen to have this beautiful glitter vinyl in perfect shades. So, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go in fast mo and finish this. But I'm going to go ahead and overlay this onto both of those.
wasn't there. So, not perfect, but we weren't expecting it to be. I'm going to see if I can trim up the top this way. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for the next step on this one. This could go a couple ways at this point. You could spray paint the top, or you could put a coat of epoxy on it, spray paint it, and make it look like brush strokes and just leave the vinyl in the middle. Um, I'm going to glitter the top, the bottom, and like feather down a little bit. Um, so that's my plan and I'm going to mix up a mix of all of these glitters. They're all slightly darker than the color corresponding on the cup, but that's what I want. This is a holographic and these are all from Element OP summer custom mixes. So I really can't give you names. And I'd rather over mix and add it to my dump jar than under mix, so. But I think it'll be pretty on the cup. So I'm gonna get my epoxy mixed up and we'll get going. Okay, my epoxy is mixed. I'm going to put a pretty heavy coat on here because I need to cover up all the difference in texture on the um, vinyls and have the chunky glitter soak in. Slide some paper under, and I'm going to get started. I'm going to do a pretty full coverage around the rim and the bottom. Now, obviously the glitter is still going to be kind of chunky after this layer, but I'll still have a smooth center, so I'll be able to decal before the next coat. I don't have to make sure the glitter is smooth before I decal because of the style of this. And I'm just going to kind of splash it up at the bottom because I don't want to tilt the cup up because I don't want the glitter to travel way up the cup. So I'm going to do that same process one more time just to ensure good, good coverage at the bottom. Oh, that looks beautiful. Absolutely happy with that. I'm going to give the top a similar treatment. Now what I want to do is I want to 
do a little bit of a sprinkling of the glitter up and down. So I'm going to hand do this from a little bit higher up because I don't want a really harsh, harsh edge, but I don't want the glitter to travel too high at the same time. So this will give me more control. So I think that's pretty good. I actually really like this blend. I may uh, mix up a little bit more and do a full cup. Okay, so my epoxy is mixed and ready. I have my decal trimmed down and ready to go on. And it really doesn't matter where on this it goes because it's all kind of the same. So I think I'm going to just stop it there, and that's where we'll put the decal. So, I'm going to put a little bit high of center. Dream it, wish it, do it. And you'll see a little bit of that pattern coming through, but that's fine. As long as there's no bubbles. Even the uh, glitter is pretty smooth, surprisingly. I mean, it obviously does need another coat, but I don't think it's going to take multiple, multiple coats. So we're going to get it spinning again and go ahead and get the epoxy on. I call that good. The epoxy is still thick in spots, but that will smooth itself out. So here we go. That's how the top rim came out. There's that beautiful decal and the bottom rim and all of the assorted vinyls. And the very bottom is just the glitter mix. So that is it. I hope you like this one. A little bit different. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. All those good things and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.